What is up, and uh, welcome to the Raw After Show for this uh, beautiful episode, which, um, again, was a lot of handicap matches, four handicap matches. Uh, handicap matches ruled. Four out of three matches, four out of the seven matches were handicap matches. Sorry about that. Um, again, it was a build up to uh, Money in the Bank, and everything's getting ready and set to do that. As we saw the team of Ryan Duggan and Sin Cara take on the team of Jack Swagger and his new his new compadre to make sure people are aware how to be a real American, Antonio Cesaro. Jack Swagger and Antonio Cesaro defeated uh, Sin Cara and Ryan Duggan. And uh, Duggan's still going to Money in the Bank. Sin Cara still has the title shot at Main Event, which is coming in the Saturday episode, which will be the Saturday Main Event one. So Sin Cara still has a chance at the title. So Sin Cara could become a champion by the week's end. And uh, Cesaro and Swagger, well, they're just trying to deport people. Oh, you know, that's just their style. Next match was City, CM Punk and David Otunga in The Miz. Now, before the night started, when well, the night started, um, Paul Heyman said, I am now the ruler of Monday Night Raw on a temporary basis. And I'm deciding I'm going to make four big matches here tonight. Four matches that are going to have everyone talking. And not for the good, though. These matches were not talking for the good. We are talking about it because it was unjust and not fair at all. And uh, it was handicap matches up the butt as CM Punk took on the A-listers, David Otunga and The Miz. And, uh... Well, I, I don't, I don't really get what the hell was going on, but uh, David Otunga and the Miz won. It looked like Punk had this one. I think if Punk had a one-on-one -on -one match with either one of them, Punk would have taken it. But uh, again, the two-on-one was just proven too much. Numbers game, numbers game, numbers game was just too much. And then Daniel Bryan, who was also subject to the same punishment, actually took on two guys who were like twice his size. So in reality, it was like a four-on-one, as it was Daniel Bryan versus Tenzai and Kane. Kane, who's been who's just been destroying everyone in his path. Destroyed Daniel Bryan and uh, Kane and Tensai would pick up the win in this one right here. John Cena took on Alberto De Rio as we saw a SmackDown Money in the Bank competitor take on a Raw Money in the Bank competitor in John Cena. And John Cena picked up the win after giving an attitude adjustment and a uh, STF. So Cena picked up the win and Del Rio is going down like a sucker. The gauntlet kept going though. Sheamus, another one who received the punishment, had to take on Riley's world. Rey Mysterio, AJ Styles, and Riley Sparks. All of them are champions. So why not just throw it on against Sheamus? Sheamus came close, but when the Intercontinental Champion came in, Riley Sparks said, uh-uh. There's a reason why I'm the champion. There's a reason why last time I was in one of these situations, I won. Remember, last time he was in one of those situations with King of the Ring when he made his own uh, gauntlet match for the Intercontinental Championship, and he came in third and took down Juan after he was tired. Same thing with Sheamus. He got tired of it. He got tired and you know his body got just worn out from the Gauntlet match and Riley Sparks came in and just said hey, whatever. I'm a vulture, I'll do whatever the hell I want. Match number C saw Chris Jericho versus Randy Orton, former tag team partner is going at it. Randy Orton picked up the win. Ryback came out for commentary just to tell me about his match. His main event match. So yeah, that was awesome. But uh, Randy Orton would pick him up would pick up the win with a pretty awesome uh, RKO, just throwing him up in the air and catching him and bam RKO. A super hard KO. Main event saw Kofi Kingston going in his own gauntlet match against Curtis Axel, Ryback, and Ziggler. Whoever could pin Kofi Kingston would get their wish. None of them were able to do that because Kofi Kingston was out on a mission to prove to everyone and his haters and his doubters that he belongs to be in the WWE Championship match at Money in the Bank against Brock Lesnar after he won King of the Ring. And Kofi picked up the win. And, uh... What else can you say? You know, Kofi Kingston did his best in this one. You can stop him. Interesting notes, though. There's uh, Kofi Kingston. Could be the guy. He took them all out. He took them all out with trouble in paradise. You know, Ryback had a chance to become... An, uh, Ryback had a chance to face Dolph Ziggler for the U.S. title. Dolph Ziggler had a chance so Ryback wouldn't face him for the title. And Curtis Axel had a chance to become a number one contender and face Dolph Ziggler for the U.S. title. So... That's just what it was, but Kofi Kingston made of any Monday Night Raw. That was Monday Night Raw, and hope you enjoyed it. I hope I uh, did a good job, and uh, I enjoyed calling it and shooting all those handicap matches and fall Heyman rules. Simple as that. Heyman is in charge. Are you a Heyman guy, or are you not a Heyman guy? Are you going to join the Shield, Heyman, Show, Lesnar, and Curtis Axel? I don't know, or we'll just be the other side. See you guys later. Bye-bye. Peace.